RJ, I want you to tell me the difference between these two photos. Well, one is a 2019 Whips Champ photo and the other is from this year, 2020. You're right. The Whips Knicks won the 2020 championship without half of the offensive weapons they had last year. So how did they do it? It starts with understanding who this player is right here, Brad Smith. That guy? That guy. Whips Snakes needed somebody to step up and last year's second round pick out of two. Romax, go! Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about Brad's story, his playing style, and how he served as a huge part of the Whips repeating in 2020. So remember the name Brad Smith. But before we do that, we need to talk about how the 2019 Whip Snakes won that championship without him. Through 2019, the Whips offense had studs like Drew Snyder, Ryan Drenner, Ben Reeves and Connor Kelly all play key roles in their run to the championship. Two-handed downhill Dodgers who are scoring threats from anywhere on the field. The whips are just firing on all cylinders. They clinch a playoff spot. By the time we got to the championship game, this offense was firing on all cylinders. And of course, we know how that game ended. Gets topside, Rambo scores! The whip stakes the cross club. So, the 2019 inaugural season comes to an end. We expand to a seventh club. But officially, the POL is expanding to a seventh lacrosse club. And in the build up to the 2020 season, the Whips find themselves gutted offensively. The first pick of the expansion draft, the Water Dogs, is going to take Connor Kelly. Number five, we take Ben Reeves, select like Drew Snyder. We're going to go with Ryan Drenner. Combined, they had 71 points in 2019. From there, the Whips make arguably the biggest pickup in the 2020 entry draft in Championship Series MVP Zed. Williams. So where does Brad Smith come into all of this? You know, people forgot about Brad. That's Whip Snakes head coach Jim Stagnita. He's been the mastermind behind this Whip Snakes offense the last couple of seasons. And he actually drafted Brad in 2019. Round two, the Whip Snakes lacrosse club selects Brad Smith. We needed big downhill Dodgers at the midfield, and, and that was Brad. Now is probably a good time to explain who Brad Smith is. Brad grew up in Mountain Lakes, New Jersey, where he was a three-sport athlete. Lisa's probably in my shot right now. Lisa, can you? Okay, thanks. Brad won state championships in both football and lacrosse. And can we just appreciate for a quick second how filthy Brad was at quarterback? Mountain Lakes quarterback Brad Smith, a 27-yard touchdown. From there, he was a two-time All-American in lacrosse, New Jersey State Player of the Year. And in the fall of 2015, Brad arrived at Duke, where in his four years there, he was a three-time All-American and scored 175 points. So Brad's cruising through his senior season and he sustains a foot injury come spring. And he plays through that injury. However, doctors assured him that he was gonna be ready for the 2019 PLL season. I think it's a little more complicated than that. I kept hearing from the doctor like, hey, give it a few more weeks and then we'll get you out on the field practicing again. And the bone wasn't healing, the legs getting pushed farther back and farther. And the coach so what Brad's really explaining here is that the foot injury is what prevented him from touching the field in his rookie season. It wasn't fun, like not playing, because getting drafted into the PLL is something that I like always wanted to to play in, and then to play with the best talent in the world, and not being able to do that, it obviously sucked. Which brings us to Brad Smith's 2020 season, and we'll let Stags pick it up from there. You know, you get this three-week bubble like we were in with putting him through something like that in that period of time. I'm not sure anyone was ever positive that he was going to be able to hold up to that. Like I told Coach Stags this all. I'll play really wherever you need me. Like anywhere that will get me on the field, I'll play there. If you want me to play D-mid, I'll, I'll play D-mid as best as I can. Uh, might not be pretty, but I I'll do it. You know, you come into this league in any professional league as a rookie, and there's a huge learning curve. Brad Smith came in, he really scored our first goal in the tournament. When you're away from it for that long, and you don't put on a uniform for that long, like you get super antsy. So when I saw that opportunity, I was like, there's no way I, I, I can't not take this. This is Brad Smith, last year's second round pick out of Duke. And there's your first goal of the championship series in the first game he's played in the PLF. From here, Coach Staggs and Brad knew that he could be a key contributor to this Whips offense and help them make a run at another championship. So how did they use him and what parts of his game make him such a threat? The number two guy on my board last year. And this is why he brings so much versatility. And just as Ryan Boyle said, the first is his versatility. He can score from just about anywhere. 
He's a kind of traditional downhill Dodger midfielder, or at least you think he is, but meanwhile, he can play attack, he can invert. He's the one guy, when I was kind of looking at this, was like, people are kind of sleeping on Brad Smith. He has as good a skill set with both hands as anyone at the midfield in, in our league. He was tied for second in points at midfield with 15 and had the most second assist in the league. So we asked Brad, where does that versatility come from? It really took me back to the first few years at Duke. You have to earn respect. You have to earn the right to be covered by the LSM. So you have to be a dodging threat. You have to be able to make those decisions, controlling slides and then reading the defense behind it. So it happened to be my job. We called it at Duke, the party starter, to get the offense going, draw a slide, move it. I think there were a few times where I could make a pass and, and get an assist, but a lot of the time it's just easier if you can throw it forward, throw it back, and then let that person who's got their hands free find the open guy. But again, like everyone kind of played every role. So in that whip snakes offense, I found myself at the end of the rainbow too, where it was my job to just put it in the net. Skip past to Brad Smith, shot, goal. Brad mentioned how that versatility affects his passing ability, which brings us to the next part of his game, his vision. And that vision was on display in the Whip semifinal game as Brad racked up five assists. Forces it inside and found its way to the goal. Smith, extra pass, goal. Brad Smith, Earhart, another two. We had Brad break down what he was seeing in those moments. They were either sliding or kind of half sliding and finding themselves in that like no man's land in between and then they're able to find Jay inside or find Chaney for the step in shots and Chaney's got all the range in the world and just getting him a pass that that's like on his stick so he can just catch and release. He doesn't have to like reset his hands or anything, you know, just trying to put them in positions where it was easiest for them to score. You know, Matt and Zed, neither of them score a goal. Right, but Brad does, and Channy does, and you know Mike Earhart does. That's where Brad fits in. He puts pressure on the other team just by being on the field. You got to pay attention to him. I think it's safe to say that almost every player on this Whip Snakes offense deserves attention, which helps open up more opportunities because this midfield is so versatile. So what if this offense isn't clicking? Who steps up? and how. Which brings us to the final part of Brad's game and Coach Staggs puts it best. The skill that I, I think was most beneficial to him and us is his IQ. He understands the game. He does not make many mistakes and he makes the right decisions and he makes the right plays consistently. And we saw that. Whips were trailing in the championship game. Pressure was mounting. Brad's IQ combined with his versatility and vision allowed him to make one of the biggest plays of the fourth quarter. We'll let Brad and Coach Staggs break down that moment for you guys. I needed to get us settled again and get us to invert and follow what our game plan was. And honestly, we were having a hard time doing it because our guys were pressing, they were a little tight. You know, part of that had to do with Blaze. But at halftime, I said to just John Hawes and just Brad Smith, every time you guys get the ball, I want you to go behind and invert whoever has the short. Brad kind of broke the seal. He scored the first one. He broke a double team from behind. Smith from X, keeps it himself, shot goal. John Hawes scores the second one. Now everybody relaxes and they're like, okay, this is what we got to do. And they settle back in. You know, that changed the game. Whip Snakes needed somebody to step up and score. Brad Smith cuts the lead to three. A lot of guys needed that to happen just to, again, give them confidence. Like Zed needed to know that other people were scoring. It didn't have to be just one guy. So a small play, just one goal in the, in the grand scheme of things. But I think it helped flip the momentum. Score by Whip Snakes. Great look to Williams. Another goal. Williams gets in tight, shoots, scores! Tie game! Five straight goals, Williams does it again! I mean, is that it? <laughs> the stuff that he can do on the field is crazy. Him and Rambo, like, he just put the team on his back and, and then the game ended and it was an awesome experience, the whole thing. So let's put this all into perspective. Brad gets drafted by the Whip Snakes in 2019. Can't touch the field the entire year thanks to his foot injury. Watches his team hoist the trophy while he's at home sitting on the couch. 2020 rolls around, Brad gets on the field with the Whips and ignites their offense. Comes up big in some clutch moments and finally gets to share that championship moment with his team. The 2020 PLL champions 
The whip sticks the cross club! It made the wait worth it. It made not playing last year worth it for me. Like being able to get a championship that I can actually say I contributed to, it was awesome. We wanted to tell Brad's story through the championship run because it shows that you don't have to be a guy like Matt Rambo or Zed Williams to be successful as a pro. In fact, Coach Stagg says guys like Brad are the secret sauce to a team's success over a long period of time. And I think our guys will agree with this. I think the beauty of our team is there's a different hero every day. Brad Smith and, and other guys were heroes on the day when Matt Rambo went zero and zero, and, and so did Zed. I think they all, at the end of the day, appreciate and realize what each of their individual contributions are, and that's what allows us to be successful on a consistent basis. All right, final whistle time. We're giving something away. A uh, Brad Smith name and number T. All you have to do is tell us what is one thing you learned about Brad Smith during this episode? You know what I learned, Lisa? What? Um, after this whole, you know, long episode about Brad's story. Yeah. I learned that Brad Smith is my new favorite whip snake. Ooh. You know what I learned? What? That Brad Smith has the best mustache in the PLO. That's oh, the best? I have to say the best, yeah. Just just amongst the players, right? Yeah. Okay, not like your co-host or anything like no, that? No, no, no. I think we've shown <laughs> over the last six months that that's not the case. Oh, okay, that's it. Make sure to like this video. We will see you next week.